So I want to talk to you about something new that came out from Google this week. It's called Gboard, and it's for iOS devices. I have it running here on my iPhone. What it basically does is it's a new keyboard to replace the default option. Apple now gives you that ability to use third-party keyboards if you like. Now, what's really great about this project, this, this, this feature that Google has released, is that it really takes kind of an issue that you know, isn't something that I thought of was a huge problem, but then once you think about it, you think, yeah, this is actually a huge problem. And that problem is, you know, you have um, conversations with people via text or whatever, and then you have to jump out of that app to search for something, copy it, and go back to the messaging app and send it. Uh, you know, Gboard tries to, to remedy that problem. So when you download the app, it gives you some very quick... Um, set up information it, it's really very very easy and then this right here what you see now is just the application once it's installed and once the keyboard is installed so you just have some options search settings you know you can turn on uh, locations if you want that as well as predictive search and contact search maybe keyboard settings would be something that you would find more interesting but really everything's enabled by default um, what's interesting about this has glide typing so you can uh, slide across the display, emoji suggestions. What's interesting is block offensive words. I think we all have had certain words get autocorrect to duck, let's say, when you're sending a message. This won't do that, so it actually just makes a little bit more sense. So we can just kind of show you the demo. Uh, this is just a text conversation that I'm having with myself. Sometimes the easiest way for me to transfer images between my computer and my device is to just text it. Uh, it's really pretty easy. So that's why I have this conversation thread. You can see here at the bottom you have this Google icon and then some predictive search, uh, predictive text options. Um, if you click on that, that brings you up to a Google search. So let's say you wanted to know the weather because you were having that conversation, you could type it right in. If you had location services on, uh, you'd see it right there. And then of course, Boston, because that's what I typed into the search. Um, you can also search um, down here, Google images, so weather uh, and GIFs as well. So it has GIF search built in, which is really pretty nice. You also have the, what's also cool is you also have, like I said, GIF search, but emoji search as well. So if you're looking for that particular emoji that fits the conversation the best, but you are scrolling through and you can't find it, well, you know, you can go ahead and just search emojis if you want, just happy. It just comes right up and it's very, very easy. Again, I was talking about uh, the sliding, uh, the sliding uh, way of entering text input on here. I kind of just demoed that and had to pause for a minute because I couldn't do them both at the same time, talk and, and do it, uh, even though it was just a test. Um, so it's, again, really very easy. If you have that search right in there, if you're looking for the weather, you don't have to go out to the weather app and then text your friend back. You can just literally look right in and then send that information to them. This is, again, called Gboard. It's free for iOS. It's actually cool. I know the uh, project manager. She was a friend of a friend. And it's just really interesting to see uh, this come out. It's gotten a lot of media publicity. You know, it's something that's very, very interesting. And it gives you, again, uh, you know, kind of what that programming lifestyle is about. You see a problem and you solve it. And for us, we might not even have known that the problem existed. But Gboard does a really great job of remedying that issue and can definitely streamline your approach when you're having conversations and you need to look up locations that you want to send or you're looking up the weather or you want to send really good emojis or gifs or whatever to really enhance that conversation. So anyway, that's Gboard. Thanks for watching.